practice yesterday and uh, it's been you know I don't know how to really sum it up because <clears throat> like two weeks ago I fished um, places that I'll probably fish in the tournament and I did pretty good I mean I, I had my worst day I probably had 13 pounds 12 and a half 13 pounds and my best day I had probably I landed 16 but I had an opportunity for maybe 17 and a half if I'd have got all the fish uh, in the boat that I hooked um, <clears throat> so it was been for three days I probably averaged around 14 15 pounds max um, but that was really good and I think that you can win this tournament with 15 pounds a day I think you'll probably walk away with the tournament uh, with 60 pounds in four days and you could win it with as little as 50 pounds so it's uh, it's gonna be a grind it's gonna be tough and um, which I kind of like. I'd rather be tough and, and then than be wide open where everybody's catching them. So uh, there's been a lot of people here practicing this week. Um, you hear a lot of guys talking about how tough it is. One day they catch them, the next day they don't. And, th and that's linear. I mean, you can find them one day and they'll be in one area and the next day you go back and it's high and dry. So if there's one part of a local advantage that w might help you in this deal is the fact that, you know, a lot of places where the fish will set up and can be and if you hit enough of them eventually you're going to find a group of fish or you might find one um, and you just have to grind them out throughout the day but so that hopefully will help me um, and give me a little bit of advantage because everybody's getting help out there I can't tell you how many boats I've seen that have had local guys in there helping a lot of the pros out and you know that's perfectly within the rules um, to get help and these guys are getting help and some of them are getting some really good help from the best guys on the lake so um, the local advantage of kind of knowing the really good spots, you can throw that out the door. You know, I'm going to have to find other ways to get an advantage on these guys and fishing against the best pros in the country. It's going to be important that I do that. You know, I'm, I'm a local here. I know this water really well and I've won here um, several times, won some big tournaments here and I feel really comfortable fishing this lake. So, but I'm really going to have to find little advantages that are going to allow me to kind of outfish the other guys in the tournament in the field because they're going to know where and what they should be throwing um, and it's going to come down to execution, it's going to come down to really keeping my mind right and, um, and I'm really going to have to fish the best tournament of my life. Uh, the hardest goal for me going into this thing was actually making it here, you know that was like the biggest uh, hurdle that I had and you know in my mind was you know just to get here to be have that opportunity to fish this tournament and that's done past us now I made it I'm here for me to to have a really bad event will be really really disappointing to me and discouraging so I really got to keep focus on that and you know and I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure on me a lot of guys are picking Tom Mann to win who really in all honesty should win this tournament because he spends more time on the water than anybody else does and knows this lake better than anybody else he's fished it a lot longer um, but you know a lot of guys feel that I'm a favorite and um, and some people don't even know who I am so that's a good thing and um, I don't think I'm gonna have you know a lot of people following me which will be good at least for the first couple days all I can do is fish the best tournament I can make sure my tackle is is is, is spot on that it's, I'm prepared um, in fact, this week, that's what I'm going to be doing. I've, today, I'm getting my, my carpet reupholstered. I'm getting live well lids put in. I'm probably going to put an oxygenator in the live well system. I'm going to put a, uh, um, a cool well, possibly, because keeping your fish alive is going to be critical. You don't want to get any of those 8-ounce penalties. As tight as this field is going to be, uh, weight-wise, you really need to make sure that uh, you keep all your fish alive. And that's going to be really hard to do when it's, when it's 100 degrees. and you know, we don't weigh in till 5 o'clock at the Gwinnett Arena. So the boat's going to get refurb this week. Um, I'm going to make sure everything is in, in, in good working condition. I'm really going to focus on my tackle. My boat is a mess right now. I haven't really cleaned it out since Gunnersville. I've been practicing here, so I've got baits in my in my box here. I mean, i just got literally bags, bags of stuff. I mean, look, I, mean I don't even know what's in here, you know, and it's, it's more bags. I've got to get through this tackle, I've got to get organized, and i got to get ready for this tournament. Um, that's what I've got to do the next week and a half, and it's going to take me a week and a half to do all this. So I'm going to get all my tackle prepped, I'm going to spend a lot of time organizing things so I know where they're at, uh, all the baits that I plan on using, I plan on running a lot, keeping fit, keeping in shape, so that I can handle the long days on the water, 
Um, so not only am I going to be working on my tackle uh, and my boat, uh, I'm also going to be working on the whole mental aspect of the sport, which is a really big part of it. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, uh, the updates, and um, I'm hoping that I can give everybody really kind of a behind-the-scene perspective of, of tournament fishing and, and actually fishing you know, a major championship event like the FLW Cup.